you think? I'll tell you this. So, when we finished that first season, the first season was really, really trying. Uh, just briefly, this this show, fans, the, 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 the media, everybody was so excited about it. It was being built up to be such a huge thing that Joss Whedon was coming back and working with Fox that it was all over. There was so much press about it. This is really just before social media was really blowing up. And uh, it was a huge press machine. I was super excited. And there was a lot of talk that we were going to open for 24, which was the number one show at the time. That's a big deal. It's like, my, I remember my manager calling me. He's like, everybody is talking about this show. You guys are going to open for 24. This is huge. We shot the pilot. The network did what they said they weren't going to do, and they came to Joss and said, listen, we want to change some things. So he had a, we had a reshoot pilot. Kind of cannibalized the first couple episodes, changed some things around. They were messing with the guys. The guy's brilliant, right? He kind of got to let him do his thing, but unfortunately they didn't. And it really threw a wrench into the wheel very early on. So that first season was really trying for us as actors and everyone else. And I can't even imagine what Jocelyn's writing team were going through because they were left scrambling to, to make adjustments to something that was well thought out and planned already, as Joss does. And he had an incredible writing team with him, too. So it was really bumpy. And there were some episodes that just didn't work. And there were some that were great and showed you the real potential of the show, right? I mean, I personally, selfishly, I really loved Man on the Street, like my episode. Um, that was such a cool episode. And the way we ended, I wasn't sure we were going to get the second season. But the network sent Joss Whedon and I to Comic-Con New York to do a press tour. Um, and Joss kind of let me know, he's like, we're, prob we're gonna get the second season. And I was like, yes, okay, amazing, this is good news. But again, I think it was six episodes in. I remember the day on set, uh, Joss looked like something was on his mind and I tried to pull him aside. We were doing a big 10 hander, like most of the actors were in, in the scene. And I was like, hey, you okay? Like, is everything okay? And he's like, to say something soon. When he said that, I was like, oh, shit. Because <laughs> I thought it might be, you know, something personal, but I could tell that it probably wasn't. And he, you know, he made the announcement to send. He said, listen, so, uh, I hate to say this, but we've gotten word that the show is going to be canceled. But they're going to let us finish out of us. He had to So, at that point, I made a, I made a, a real promise to myself that I was just going to make the most out of every single day that I had with the rest of these actors and this crew. Because, Oftentimes shows the, the, the plug is pulled and that's it. You're done, you know, you know, you, you're not going back to work. Uh, you're not going to see those people again. It can be really violent and, and, and hard. But this was, you know, we had an opportunity to see out the rest of the season. So that was a good thing. So I made a point of just reminding the younger crew, younger cast who, who didn't have uh, another series under their belt that, you know, they just really needed to enjoy it did my part in a small way, and some of the other veteran actors did, and we all, we all had a good time, but you could tell that they had to make major, major adjustments. The, you're writing in such a way, you know, Joss Whedon and his writing team, all of Jane Espenson, like all the amazing writers that he's surrounded by, they're writing with very clear arcs about where they're gonna go season after season, you know? We're gonna give you bits of this in the second season near the end, and it's gonna bleed into this in the third season, and we'll, we'll develop the character in this way, and, being told suddenly that the show's not going to go and you've got eight, eight episodes to wrap things up, I can't even imagine the stress and the challenge of that. But they, they did as good of a job as they could do. And there was some really good stuff there. But um, yeah, like you, I, I, I've always said, it, even if we could have got one more season, I think everyone would have been a lot more happy with, with uh, the way things ended. I think they would have been able to wrap things up, you know, justly. That said, I think they did a great job and I'm always grateful to have had that experience. Thank you.